You buy a Reddit account with 4000 karma for $100. You log in and you are instantly banned. No recovery, no refund, nothing. That's what happened to most of you. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to create Reddit accounts and farm karma by yourself. With the strategy that I will present you, every second account survives. So you have a 50% success rate. For Reddit it's very, very good. Why do we create our own accounts? Aged karma accounts are not enough anymore. Back in 3 years you could just buy a cheap Reddit account with 4k karma which was a couple months old and you could post 20 times a day without getting banned. In these days Reddit is very different. The Reddit ban system is way higher, you get way faster bans, you know it, you log in, bam, banned. The spam filter reacts most of the time not on the kind of content you post but on the trust score you have. And most of the accounts have a very bad trust score because they farmed karma like they spammed everything or with bots. Because of that most of the time you get banned, you have a very bad trust score. Also AP changes are very suspicious. I mean why should should an Iranian Reddit account move to the US. Very suspicious most of the times. I mean, if you are trying to use Reddit, you know they are very, very strict. And also buying accounts is very, very expensive. At minimum, you have to spend $50 for a good account. A minimum. For a normal account, you should spend normally $100. And using $100 in second because you don't know the Reddit system or you don't know the account quality is very, very bad and is very, very high risk. Reddit is very expensive to run. I mean, there are two things. There is very expensive to run or it takes a very long time to set up accounts. So in this video I show you the most effective way to set up Reddit accounts. Buying accounts is very, very expensive. And I said the other option is it takes a lot of time. But the funny part is VAs are very cheap. If you pay VAs $3 per hour, you will get a way better output for $100 than you just buy a Reddit account for $100. And like I already said, if you buy Reddit accounts, you don't know the account quality. If you create it by yourself, you always knew quality, what happened with the account, if he was already used, if he is banned, in some subreddits and you have full control over the trust score. And it's very high risk like I said, you spend $100 on an account and get banned in seconds without posting one piece of content. Very, very inefficient and high risk if you don't have a trustworthy Reddit seller. Setup. You will need Gmails. Gmails are very cheap to buy. You can buy them for 50 cents to $2, literally nothing for account creation. You will have to use anti-detected browsers with proxies to separate them from each other. If you want to know how proxies work and why we need them, check out my proxy video. I won't explain it here, but you will need anti tech browsers to manage all the different accounts or different proxies. In the Reddit space, there are different opinions about um, for PC you should use uh, residential proxies because nobody uses a PC on mobile data and that's why mobile proxies are suspicious. I said it by myself that um, residential proxies might be better for Reddit, but now I moved back to my own mobile proxies. It's very important to run Reddit on a very good proxy because the bad bands instantly if you have a suspicious IP address or a bad proxy. So I run all my Reddit accounts not on residential proxies anymore, like I said in my last Reddit videos. Currently I run all the accounts on a, my own mobile proxies. How to create your own mobile proxies? Check my Telegram channel out. There I link the site where you can create own mobile proxies for like 5 to $10 on your Android phone, which have the highest quality and look the realest to Reddit. I say you can also use mobile proxies on PC, even if it's a little bit suspicious. It's better to have a perfect mobile by proxy than a good residential proxy on PC is less suspicious. But in theory, extremely good residential proxy should be better, but it's just theory. I don't use residential proxy for Reddit anymore. Mobile proxies are working on PC for me at the moment in June 2025. A way better setup for me is what I currently do. I farm Reddits on phones. I have a Ukrainian VA sitting in Ukraine with multiple iPhones. iPhone 8 is our model, what we use because it's the cheapest. iPhone 8 or iPhone X. And there the guy just sits and creates the accounts from the phone because phone has the highest trust score. I mean, think about it. How do most people use Reddit? I mean, some sit on PC, but most of them sit on the phone and consume all the stuff over the day. It's way easier to program bots and automation everything for the desktop version than to an iPhone. It's very hard to program automations and bots for iPhones. So iPhones have automatically a way higher trust score. I mean, it's expensive to manage multiple phones, but maybe you can jailbreak them or use the app clone or something. I personally haven't tried. What I like to do is still like with Tinder, multiple phones and one account per phone. That has the highest trust score for me and that's what's currently working. Get a iPhone 8, iPhone X, a Gmail. Phones always use mobile proxies because that's the most realistic thing and the most safest thing. Another thing, don't use automation. Reddit is a very good bot detection system. They direct everything very, very fast. You get shadow band or perma band or IP band. Different kinds of band for Reddit. Avoid automation at all costs. So how do we warm up? First day, account creation. We got the Gmail, we got the phone. Here, fucking iPhone 
8, you get it. You go to the phone, bought a Gmail account, which is 8. I say if the Gmail account is older than two months, it's very good. And the cheapest way to get a lot of Gmail accounts aged, I just buy thousands of Gmail accounts, which are new created, and I just let them age for two months. And after two months, you will always need new accounts. And if you buy them on Mars, it's very cheap. You get a very big discount. And after the time, they will age by themselves. That's how I do it. But if you want to create directly related accounts, you will have to buy them already aged, which is a little bit more expensive. So how do we set up on the phone? Get your iPhone 8, you create the account with the Gmail. Gmail login, Reddit, create your account. You set nothing up, you just get in your name. No bio, nothing, because no real user does it. No, nobody creates his Reddit account and sets up his profile with profile picture and everything. He just sit there, scrolls content for 20, 10 to 20 minutes, and then he logs off the app. No commenting, nothing. On the second day, you can do the same, but to save VA costs, we just do nothing on the second day because it's not really necessary. And on the third day, we start with the first text posts. Important, every guy there sitting there and going to make posts in the biggest subreddits like Ask Reddit and everything. But it's a little bit suspicious because that's literally bot behavior because most of the bots do this. So you gotta be a little bit different. What we do, we look for new subreddits and make one to two text posts and there we react to comments, write some comments to other posts, up and down vote a little bit and just do some text posts. Nothing special, no pictures, nothing, just basic shit. We stay low key. It makes Maximum three to five posts per day, just text stuff. And important, you gotta go into niches because the biggest subreddits are way too suspicious because all the bots and Karma Pharma do it. If you know a game, for example, I don't know, you played like Call of Duty, you know a little bit about Call of Duty. Go into the Call of Duty subreddit and post something about that the game is shit or something. I don't know about Call of Duty, <laughs> just an example. Also, just post random stuff from your phone and random subreddits. For example, I just went to some dog subreddits and posted my fucking dog. Where he sits on the sea and that got some upvotes and comments. It just have to be, look like real user behavior and Reddit users have a very weird behavior. So I just go through my through my gallery, set it from my iPhone to this iPhone, and run it through a spoofer to change the metadata. After that, I just upload it on the random subreddit, start reddit post for my gallery <laughs> and some random subreddit which just fits in. Normal user behavior. Day four to seven, there you start to make more posts and save for work subreddits. I already said upload some random pictures before but there you can already target a little bit more in your niche for example you can start posting the first pictures of your girl in a little bit fetish wise and a little bit more targeted for example there are some oil up um, subreddits and i got a model in the oiling niche where she always oils up and there are some safe for work subreddits for that and we can already promote the model a little bit without promoting her heart because not safe for work subreddits are more high risk than safe for work subreddits because most of the accounts will get half farmed, safe for not safe for work subreddits. But it's just a preference of us. If you want to be safe, don't go niche. Just make again one to two random posts from your phone, like I do it, and posts in random subreddits, which may be a little bit niche. So in the first seven days, we literally try to farm no karma. It's just to warm them up. And a very important one, what we found out, I don't know. Maybe I'm a paranoid. But what I let my people do, I let them consume porn every day. Of after day three, for minimum three days, I let the VA consume porn for 10 to 20 minutes every day with every account. He just runs up the account, goes onto some not safe for work samples, and he just scrolls porn content. For example, you can go on outside sex, or how do you call it? I forgot the name, or some other stuff. Just porn content, which he just sits and consumes. And that sounds crazy, but after we did it, the ban rate lowered a lot because it's normal user behavior. Most of the Reddit guys are there because of porn. They sit there and consume porn all the time. So you gotta also be look like a real user and consume porn for 20 minutes a day in the warmer process. A funny story, I got one of my Reddit VAs, he was a Muslim and I haven't known it. He created and warmed up all the accounts for me. The funny part is we had Ramadan and I haven't known that he's Muslim. I sit there and after seven days, I go on the account, OnlyFans account from the girl and I see, and I see the Reddit traffic had 90% decline. We literally got no fans to Reddit. Before that, we got a lot of fans to Reddit. And I look and I ask the way, what's happening? Why, why do we don't we get any fans? And he said, yeah, it's Ramadan. I can't watch any porn. I was like, motherfucker, you gotta let me know that, that, that it's Ramadan. You can't just stop working and don't tell me anything. I mean, if your religious beliefs don't allow you yourself to work, okay, but tell it a couple weeks before to me, not like just stop working and get the paychecks and everything. So after that, I just fired him and had to get a new account creation VA because he just stopped working and haven't told me anything. 
thing. But this shit happens. So control your VAs, control your traffic, look that everything works. I just trusted the guy, but he just stopped working because of Ramadan. So let your VAs watch porn, just let them get all the phones at the same time and scroll porn for 10 to 20 minutes in your day and it costs you around 1 euro in VA time. Literally nothing, but very effective to your trust score. Most of you think, bro, that's so much fucking work to warm them up. Why, why the fuck should I do that? They can just buy them. Yeah, buying doesn't really work most of the time and the other part is if you are ready to invest in Reddit and you have a lot of time and capital to invest, then Reddit can be very, very effective. It's just not effective if you need money fast and you're not patient. If you're patient with Reddit, it's a very, very good platform to farm subs to your agency. So how do we farm karma? Discuss politics. Very easy one. Just post left wing opinions. It's so fucking easy. Go into some politics groups. Most of the Reddit users are left wings, communists, all that shit. They all are fucking left motherfuckers there. You just go to a subreddit and you just post left wing opinions. Just write, war is bad. <laughs> you get upvotes. <laughs> That's that simple. I mean, yeah, you could get it more effective. Write something against Elon Musk. Bam, upvotes. That capitalism is bad. Bam, upvotes. It's so fucking easy to farm karma. You just have to get the most mainstream opinions and the people there will upvote everything. I think most of the users are fucking bots. But it's just some fucking, fucking left-wing bots, they upvote literally everything. Or just go to some subreddits with controversial opinion, go, go to Israel and discuss with other people the Gaza situation. Just write something, Palestine is bad, uh, they attacked Israel. Just write some shit up and somebody will upvote your shit. Israel is in the right to defend themselves from Hamas or some shit. Just some random political opinion and some people will upvote you because Reddit users are fucking weird. It's very easy to farm karma this way, so just go into political political discussions. But one problem is, you can go in controversial discussions, it can be very effective, but also it's very risky, because if you have a bad opinion, <laughs> Yes, you can have bad opinions on Reddit. For example, you say that the Austrian guy did nothing wrong or some shit like that. <laughs> then you get a lot of downvotes and there you can also get banned. Or you say something too controversial in one subreddit. For example, you go in a pro-Palestine subreddit and then you write something bad about Palestine. You can get a lot of upvotes and a lot of upvotes can be very bad to your account. It can also get your account banned from Reddit. Don't make your post too controversial if you don't want to get an account banned. What my VAs do and what's the safest thing is just post mainstream left-wing opinions and you will easily gain a lot of karma. Another one, very easy one niche talking if you know something about some stuff then post it i had a va he know a lot about dota this game i never played dota i don't i don't fucking know what the game is about but he was a karma farming va for me and he just went on to dota subreddits and discussed some shit there he had fun there and got a lot of upvotes after that the funny part is we also market the model that she's a dota player and she also chatted for her and note all the dota stuff and shit like that little bonus of the side ask your vas or chatters what they do for fun and some play video games and then you can market your model like she plays the video game and the chatter can, can go into details uh, with the fans in the chat and for example there are not much chatters or models who knows about fucking dota but you get fans who like dota or league of legends the chatter can talk into detail with the fans there and they will fall in love and spend a lot of money if you do it i know a little bit of topic but this is a very effective method so he discussed just dota stuff in the dota subreddit or league of legends stuff shit like that i don't fucking understand it. I never played these games. But he did and he farmed karma like this. Also go into pets some predator and post your fucking dog. I, I did it. I got my fucking dog. Posted him at times and he got upvotes. Sometimes you can make a funny title and reddit farming is fucking easy if you got it once. I mean if it's the first time I read it it's hard but if you Post a couple times, you know what will get upvotes and whatnot. You get the feeling for it. And also always post in small subs. It's way less risky. It's way more believable. And most of the bots post in big subreddits. So you are different and influence yourself. What you need to avoid if you are on subreddit. Don't post too much too fast. Bot behavior too spammy. Reusing the same media on the same account or comments. I mean, you see a lot of the times you see this OnlyFans models with 20k karma. And account is 10 years old. And they post the same piece of media a time 
times on eight subreddits, you can do that shit because they have a way better trust score. Their accounts are old, they have a real history and some of them bribe fucking reddit mods. I also tried to bribe some reddit mods but it never worked. They declined, they banned me. I, I tried to bribe them, doesn't work for me. Maybe try it out, maybe it helps to you. <laughs> Damn, the bots say if they don't ban your stuff, you give the money. For me it hasn't worked out but maybe for you just an idea. Farming in not safe for work subs is high risk. It's possible to farm karma very fast there. For example, one time I signed a lot of golf girls and there I just wanted to subreddits where people give out their snapchat and everything. I did shit like upvote if you like golf nudes and everything and they thought they will get golf nudes in their DMs and they got a lot of upvotes, got like 100-200 upvotes after a day. Very easy way to farm karma. Most of the subreddit doesn't allow asking for upvotes but some allow it. Dead subreddits who allow it are mostly not safe for work and there you can say if they upvote they, they get nudes in the chat but they just upvote and I don't give them nudes. <laughs> no, I just don't interact with them. <laughs> that works very well. Also buying bought accounts or bot um, upvotes to your accounts is also very suspicious and Reddit will find it out so don't do that shit. If you need a Reddit no ban checklist check out my Telegram channel. There is more info. Thank you for watching and bye.